Welcome back everyone. We are here in the basement of the uh, creepy cathedral in uh, Mordavia. All right, let's take a little look around. As usual, it's good to start off with the eye cursor. Let's see, there's this another sort of six-pointed starfish thing or whatever in the back of the room here. Above the altar is the sign of the dark one surrounded by arcane letters. A notch next to the A makes you think that perhaps that is some sort of starting point for the letters. Oh, I see. So... Avuzl or Avuzl? Yeah, if if A is the first letter, yeah, this either spells Avuzl or Alzuv. Oh, and you're really getting hungry. Hmm, what time is it? we should eat. Oh, it's getting late in the day. Here. Okay, I'll return to the inn and uh, eat dinner when we're done here. That's fine, the day's almost over. Let's see, so there's a book here. There's a huge book on the altar. The binding looks like stretched human skin with letters and markings written in dried blood. Oh, creative. The letters spell out Necrophilicon. Now what could that mean? Oh, that's it. Something like the Silmarian Four of the Love of Death. There's something very, very wrong and dangerous about this book. Yeah, that is actually a subtle reference to necrophilia, which is, of course, uh, getting busy with uh, dead people. Uh, let's see, let's check out these horned things. These bizarre creatures are only stone carvings, you hope. Oh, they kind of look like those things from that children's book where the wild things are, or whatever it's called. Uh, they kind of remind me of something from the Black Cauldron. You're mm. starving. You'd better find some food soon. Oh, Sh no. Shut up, hero, you wimp. It's only been... All right, let's take a look at this. It's been, like, only a few hours. Jeez. Let's take a check out this octopus man or hexapus man thing. You've seen some pretty ridiculous things in your time, and that's certainly one of them. It's a hexator. Let's talk hexator. to it. Doesn't say much. All right. You see a small statue that matches the description that the chief thief gave you. Uh, no, you didn't see that. What? The chief thief didn't give us any description. What is he no, talking about? there's no chief. No. Uh-oh. Hello. Oh, that doesn't look good. You feel a funny tingling sensation, then a slimy one as you reach out to touch the statue. This is not good. Whoa! Uh-oh! Oh my- Oh! Whoops! Oh! He's a yes, yes, he didn't. He's, uh, he got turned into a banana slug. Yes, he's gonna attend, uh, Santa Cruz. Uh, okay, let's slug it out. Well, you have to admit that becoming a giant banana slug is one of the more unique situations in your adventuring career. It's also the last as you choke on your own slime. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, that's a shame. But banana slugs don't choke on their own slime. No. This game is zoologically inaccurate. They don't have teeth, either. That's true, yes. All right, let's try this one again. Uh, let's see, where did I leave off? I just, uh, just given the garlic to the hungry hexa... Puss pod, whatever, and we were down here, um, and I'm not going to touch that now. Let's see. Let's continue looking around. What about this uh, barrel? The huge barrel is labeled "Cask of Iman Tilado." Tiado. Oh, Tiado, which is a reference to a similarly the Castle named of right, which is uh, a story by Edgar Allan Poe. This must be the fabled spirit that provided most of the income and fame of the monastic order here. It is rumored to provide strange and mystical visions to those who taste freely of its content. Ooh, let's drink it, let's drink it. Let's drink it, awesome. You tip, you tap the huge cask of Amant Tiado. This is the strongest stuff you've ever tasted, assuming that you're not an aficionado of dragon's breath. Bottoms up. Ooh, he spins around and, uh. and falls over. Oh look, it's the half dome. No, it's not. It's not curved. Oh, it's a mountain of some kind. And night is falling and it's getting darker. Oh, evil, yay. No, it's just nightfall. I, oh. I call that evil. And the mountain is electrical. Oh, it's just a volcano erupting. Oh, it's kind of like what happened in Quest of Glory 2 if you didn't save the city. It's sort of like Iblis being, yeah, kind oh. of rising. Nice. Except, yeah. I think that's just a volcano going off and the black stuff was just ash blowing out of the volcano. <laughs> Man, have you got a headache? Fortunately, the Dark One Rising seems to have been just a vision, not the reality. Yet. Hmm. A scroll has formed from the cask's wine droplets. Indeed. <laughs> okay. You pick up the rolled paper on the floor. It has the symbol of a drop of blood at the top and the inscription Ritual of Blood. You can't read any of the other writing on it. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Let's take a look. This is the blood ritual. This scroll contains a single bright drop of blood at the top. The rest is written in characters that seem to shimmer and shift so that you can't focus on them. Maybe it's magical. Dr. Cranium would just say it's science. 
Let me see. Does it look darker in here, or is it just me? No. No. Apparently he was out for like three minutes. Okay. But yeah, so the drops of wine here on the floor turned into a blood ritual. Well, that's interesting. And the other thing to check out in this room is the desk. The roll top desk's desk is spotted with dark and ominous stains. Oh boy, I wonder what people have been doing with this desk. <laughs> let's see, let's open up the desk. The desk is naturally locked. That's good, that's better than being artificially locked. It's an, organic, it's an organically locked desk. Force Let, it open. Let's force it open. You force the drawer open with your incredible strength. Rawr. Oh. Oh. Opening the desk set off a trap. A bellowing cloud of poisonous gas surrounds you for a moment before dissipating. You're having trouble breathing. Oh no! Oh, oh no, you got like... Well, that's not very much. Lost like some minuscule amount of health. Let's see. 320 out of 345 points. Uh, oh well. You're really getting hungry. Shut up, hero, you whiner. You're always whining about being hungry. Ooh, oh, we're poisoned. No, we got poisoned. Yeah, when it turns oh, bright green good. like that, we're poisoned. And, and yeah, and it starts going down. Yeah, it'll go away by itself eventually most of the time, but yeah, that's kind of annoying. All right, let's go through the desk. I think we should be all right. You rifle through the mad monk's desk and find the diary of Amontillado. Boy, was this guy wacko. Reading this makes your head hurt. However, it does give you some information about the Dark One rituals. It says something about the first ritual being placed within the Mad Monk's tombstone, there to be forever guarded by followers. The second ritual should be placed in the Stone of Squids, and revealed only by the light of a dead child's soul. Pay attention to this, actually. This is actually kind of important for uh, a couple of things that happen later in the game. The next ritual should be placed in the hollow of the hangman's tree, and guarded by the spirit of the dead, which remains there. The blood ritual shall be concealed magically within the monastery, and only he who willingly seeks dark visions shall find it. Wait, I don't remember us willingly seeking dark visions. It sort of happened accidentally, I mean, we just kind of drank the wine and passed out and saw a dark vision. But still, we got the blood ritual. Yeah. Even if it wasn't entirely willing. The mouth ritual shall be placed in the great arch itself under the dark one's sign, and the heart ritual shall be given to someone named Gregor for safekeeping. By the way, you don't get the mouth ritual. Um, someone else already has it. This was the mouth ritual. Okay, I'll continue. <laughs> There's another note on this page in another's handwriting. Gregor is missing in the forest and probably dead, yet where is the heart ritual? Okay, that's all we have. Is there anything else we can get from the desk? Oh, it's all the same messages again. Okay, I'll just, never mind. Okay, um, yeah, shut up, hero. I don't care if you're hungry. You just had food this morning. You can't be that starving yet. Uh, so we got the blood ritual from here. Uh, so we already have one of those rituals. Uh, the mouth ritual you don't need to worry about because remember that great arch at the beginning or close to the beginning of the game where we got the, the dark one sign in the first place? Somebody already retrieved the mouth ritual from there so we just don't need to worry about that one. That leaves four rituals that we do need to get now. Uh, four left that we still need to get. So let's see, what should we do about that? Hmm. Is there anything else in this room? Uh, a little barrel here. It's a small barrel. Perhaps one's used for brandy. The barrel is now empty. And other stuff. The walls of this creepy place glisten with liquid as if they were oozing with the blood of ancient sacrifices. It is cold down here as if all your body warmth was being leached away from you. Uh, yeah, and then this back here. Uh, I guess that's it. That's pretty much all we can do down here for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave. And we can just walk right out the door. Bye, Hector. Bye, Hector. You retrieve the Dark One sign from the monastery door, then quickly step away before the Hectopus can react. That's nice. Oh, and Igor's gone. I guess he's gone home for the day because it's late at night. And the Burgomeister's window is also closed. Let's go to the inn and get some dinner, shall we? Mm, knock on door. The usual message about all the bars and locks being removed from the door. Okay, let's sit down and get some dinner. Tonight for your dining pleasure is the traditional Mordavian chicken paprikash, delicately seasoned with locally grown paprika and garlic. Mm. Yummy. All right, that was nice. And there's not much else to do here, so let's just go on up to our room. And let the door to your room and go on in. Let's get some more garlic, because we fed the other... Uh, garlic that we had to Hector. So we take a clove of garlic again. You can eat it to make the poison stop. Oh, really? Yeah, I think. You take, you bite off a bit of one of the garlic cloves. Watch out werewolves, not to mention dates. Or, uh, maybe not. 
Did that uh, cure our poisoning? Maybe it didn't. Maybe I uh, don't know anything. It didn't, doesn't seem to have helped, but oh well. I'm sure it uh, helps keep our hero healthy since it's part of a balanced breakfast or dinner. Part of this nutritional meal. Yes, ex nutritious meal. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll go ahead and save as nighttime on day two. And I don't think I'll go to sleep right now. I'll do a little bit more exploring at oh, night. Oh, see? See, it went away. Uh, yeah, see, exactly. We got cured. All right, excellent. Well, now would be a great time to do some more exploring, but we'll have to do the next video. We'll see you then, folks. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.